Hi students, it's been a few days since I've made a video. Um, you know that I'm on summer break from school, so that's part of my reason. And then also I've been preparing for having a garage sale with my friend, so I'm making a quick video at the garage sale while we have no customers coming. I want to show you another app that you could use for pronunciation practice. This app is free for the first unit only. After the first unit, this app costs $4.99, $4.99. And I do think that it's a very worthwhile app for that price. If you are needing something to focus on your specific pronunciation difficulties. Um, many of my students from China, from Asia, they are often worried about their pronunciation of L and R, L or U. Um, some of my Bhutanese students are occasionally worried about the sound of CH and SH, the CH to SH for CHU or SHU. Uh, my Arabic speaking students are often concerned about this, the difference between G and K, the G and K. For example, the words think and thing, or the P and B, pig or big, pig or big. If you have a specific pronunciation struggle, this app will be great for you. On the Android Play Market, let me open up my Play Store. This app is called American English Pronunciation Tutor. On the iOS, the Apple Market, this app is called Just English Pronunciation Tutor. So I'm going to search for American English pronunciation, if I can type, okay, um, American English pronunciation tutor. And the app that I am looking for is this image. Um, you see it already shows as installed because I have it installed on my device. The manufacturer of this app is Language Arts Press, and they prepare, they produce um, textbooks for English learning classrooms. So they have another app for grammar that I will also show you, um, but that app has not been updated for the newest versions of Android. So let me jump into, let me jump into the app. Um, on your device, you will see the green install button, but on my device, I have open, so I'm going to open it up. Again, this app is a free app for just this first unit. The additional units are costing um, $4.99. I'll double check. It might have gone up to $5.99, but even at $5.99, it's definitely a worthwhile app for pronunciation practice. Um, I'm going to open up this first unit by clicking on it. And what it does is it now shows me introduction, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. And then I see my next unit two. I can click on that and I can see introduction, lesson one, lesson two. You see that they have written here the focused sound for that lesson. So they're focusing in these two lessons about the difference between uh and ah, uh, uh and ah, uh, truck and hot. Um, lesson three, or unit three, continuing vowels. Lesson four, the vowel combinations where your mouth moves between two vowels, like in the sound I, I, five, ow. Ow in down, oi, oi. Um, consonants, again, consonants, endings like s, buses, stops, grows, the different pronunciations of ed. 
um, all the way through how to pronounce the sentence as a whole, which word should have the most focus in the sentence as a whole. Um, I can't show you all the other units because I don't have the paid version on my phone, but I will show you in unit one. Every unit has the same format of introduction followed by lessons. Inside of the introduction, you see it has two for two. Oops, let me click back out. Um, you see lesson one has two for four. That means I've finished two out of the four pieces. Lesson two says zero for four. That means I have finished zero out of the four pieces. The introduction is where they are going to talk about the height of your tongue, how high should your tongue be in your mouth for the different sounds. And then they're going to talk about the shape of the mouth, how much um, wide, how much round should your mouth be for making the different sounds. So let me click into tongue height. These vowel sounds are produced with the tongue forward in the mouth. For each vowel, the tongue is... Oops, play again, play again. Let me click back out. These vowel sounds are produced with the tongue forward in the mouth. For each vowel, the tongue is placed at a different height. So, these vowels are made with the tongue forward, almost touching your teeth. The E, the tongue goes very high. As I click on it, it makes the sound. E. E. I. I. A. 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 Eh. Ah. Ah. And you see that the tongue is going progressively lower as we go through these sounds. E. 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 I. I. A. 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 Eh. Eh. Ah. Ah. And it's making those sounds as I'm clicking on each of those pictures. You see it says across the top here, um, click on an image to hear the sound. Then I want to click into mouth shape. And I can see how E is a much wider mouth. E, I is a little bit more narrow and round. A, my mouth is actually changing. A, E is a little bit bigger. And A is the biggest. Oh, and again, I can go in there, let me click back in, and I can hear the sound. E, I, I, A, I, E, A, A. After I've done those two pieces, that's just that introduction, then there's a more in-depth lesson on each of the different sounds. Remember, there were five sounds in that introduction. E, I, a, E, and A. So let me just click into the E lesson. As I click through these arrows here, you'll see that there are four different small units, or four different small lessons. Um, the first one is practice. The second is contrast, which is comparisons. So you change the sound in the word a listening quiz, and then a pronunciation where actually I'll pronounce, the microphone will be listening to me, and it'll tell me, it will tell me, it'll tell me if I did a nice job pronouncing it or not. So I just want to click through each of these different practices to model this for you. Um, you see at the top, let me move my camera there, it says touch the play button next to the word to hear the cor correct pronunciation, and then record yourself and compare. Oh, it probably doesn't like me to try and click record because I'm recording right now. But if I'm not recording, I can use this button to record myself, say feet, and then this button to play it. And then I can go over here, listen to the teacher pronounce it, here, listen to myself pronounce it, and make that comparison. And I click done then. Um, contrast is again where they're showing two different sounds. So here they're comparing E and I. 
Seat. 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 Sit. Sit. Feel. Feel. Fill. Fill. Least. Least. List. List. Seek. Seek. Sick. Sick. I beat my brother. I beat my brother. I bit my brother. I bit my brother. Very different whether I beat him or I bit him. The third part of this um, app then is the listening quiz. So let me click into the listening quiz. Um, it says click on the play button. Sit. And I'm deciding if that is the top word or the bottom. Nice work. Feel. Feel. Good job. Least. Try again. Excellent. And then let me click into the last part, which is the speech recognition. Again, because I'm using my camera and microphone to record myself making this video, it might not allow me to do the actual speech recognition. So I have a drop down menu here that I can click on to select a different word. And you see that all of them have the E sound, which is being practiced in this um, mini lesson. So let me click on um, three. Three. Yeah, I think it's not, I think it's not taking my um, speech. Okay, so I'm gonna click back out and then we'll just do one more thing on this app. Um, so we've got the 10 different units, each unit with the introduction, with multiple lessons. Inside of each lesson is multiple different things I can do to practice that sound, to hear the differentiation between the sound. Um, let me click on to, okay, so I was incorrect earlier. They have changed the app price to $5.99, but I do believe that this is a very high quality app if you have some specific piece of English pronunciation that you would like to be working on. Um, I'm gonna click no thanks right now. The last thing I want to show you is this app on the um, Apple market. So on the Android market, you're searching for American English pronunciation tutor. On the iDevice market, you're just searching for English pronunciation tutor. All right, students, let me know if there's another type of app that you're searching for. Let me know what you think about this app and how it can benefit your pronunciation. Um, the next app I'll be demonstrating is a grammar app and hopefully you'll like that one also. Until next time, bye.